This is Greenwich, Connecticut. We're gonna explore the differences between the neighborhoods so you can decide which area is a fit for you. Greenwich is bordered to the west and north by the state of New York, to the east by the town of Stamford, Connecticut, and to the south by Long Island Sound. When there is no traffic, you can make it to Manhattan Central Park in about 40 minutes by car. The fast train is gonna get you to Grand Central Terminal in about 45 minutes. Greenwich is roughly twice the size of Manhattan, but with only about 3% of the population. It has good ethnic diversity, high household income, and a highly educated population. If you can afford the housing prices, it offers a surprising number of top-notch amenities, all of which you're going to see today. Hi, my name is Charlie Vinci. I'm a Greenwich Realtor, and my Realty team and I specialize in helping buyers relocate to the area. First, we're gonna explore the neighborhood of Old Greenwich. Let me show you why you might want to move here and a few reasons why you might not. Along the way, I'm going to use our Greenwich neighborhood map. If you'd like to follow along, you can grab yourself a copy by going to the link on the screen. Surrounded by water, the peninsula of Old Greenwich creates what many believe to be the ideal community. It has the best walkable village area in town, which features its own train station and everything you need on a daily basis, including restaurants, shopping, a grocery store, banks, a gas station, post office, coffee shop, you get the idea. It's all here in one compact area. Many New Yorkers consider it to be the best walkable neighborhood along Connecticut's Gold Coast. To the north of the village, you also have Rosa Harpen Park and Ladin Rock Sanctuary. Both are great locations for a quick nature hike. To the east of the village area, you have Innes Arden Golf Club. It's an 18 hole course with a rating of 70.3 and a slope of 128. Just to the south of the village area, you will find Old Greenwich Elementary. Old Greenwich offers condos, single family homes, and waterfront estates. The finest properties in Old Greenwich are going to sell for north of about 6 million, with luxurious or premium property typically selling between 3.1 million and 4.4 million. And more affordable home will sell between 590,000 and 2.2 million. The homes are closer together in Old Greenwich, so if you're looking for a larger lot, I have several other options for you. Another reason so many people love this location is the stunningly beautiful Greenwich Point, which is also called Todd's Point by the locals. This island-like 147-acre park and beach is arguably the best along the entire Connecticut Gold Coast. You will find a picturesque setting with trails, beach pavilions, nature, and views of New York City. It is an excellent location for walking, swimming, riding your bike, running, fishing, and picnicking. The summer traffic can get busy along Sound Beach Ave and Shore Road, so choose a home off the beaten path if this is a concern. As amazing as Todd's Point is, it's not your only beach option in town. If you wanna live in a beach community, we've created a map and search feature on our site that not only shows you where all of Greenwich's hidden beaches are, but also allows you to search for homes that are walkable to these small and private beaches. You'll find the link on the screen. Between the neighborhoods of Old Greenwich and Riverside, you're gonna find the beautifully tranquil Vinnie Park. In the warm weather, you're gonna find ducks and turtles. It's a great place for a picnic or a stroll along the water with the kids. This is a destination for many of the people living nearby and it's a great place to meet your neighbors. I should also point out that both Riverside and Old Greenwich are excellent locations to walk, run, or ride your bike. If you come in the warmer months, I have no doubt that you will come across residents out and about in the streets. Just across the street from Binney Park, you're gonna find one of Greenwich's four libraries. This one is Perot Library. It has an interesting history, which you can learn about in the documentary created about it. All right, let's explore Riverside. Much of Riverside has easy access to the village in Old Greenwich and Todd's Point. The neighborhoods of Old Greenwich and Riverside are similar in many ways, including that they both have a dedicated train station. One of the most noticeable differences being that the neighborhood of Riverside often has more estate-like properties. By the way, Old Greenwich and Riverside are so popular, we created a detailed video tour on each of them, and you should check them out if you are seriously considering either of these neighborhoods. You can find them by going to our YouTube channel or the link on the screen. Riverside offers condos, single family homes, and waterfront estates. 
the finest properties in Riverside are going to sell for north of about $5 million, with a luxurious or premium property typically selling between $2.6 million and $3.9 million. And a more affordable home will sell between $228,000 and $1.7 million. In the southern part of the neighborhood, you'll find Riverside Elementary and Eastern Middle School. To the northern part of the neighborhood, you'll find North Mianus Elementary and the International School of Dundee, which is a magnet elementary which you get access to by living in the neighborhood rather than having to win a lottery. Next, let's head over to the neighborhood of Cos Cop. If you love the location of Old Greenwich and Riverside, but you're having a hard time finding a home, Cos Cop might be a great option. It's a more affordable community, also with its own train station, and it's close to many of the town amenities, one of which is the beautiful Cos Cop Park. This waterfront gem is home to sports fields, a playground, trails along the water's edge, and a stunning view of the Cos Cop Harbor. You will also have Montgomery Pintium and Greenwich Botanical Center with its lakes, ponds, wildlife, and trails. Both are an excellent place for a short hike. Or, if you're willing to drive a few more minutes to the north, check out Mianus River Park. It has nearly 400 acres, which are suitable for biking, hiking, fishing, dog walkers, and runners. If you love nature, I have no doubt that this will be one of your favorite locations. Parking can be limited during the busy periods, like the weekends, and mosquitoes can be bad in the summer, so go during the slower periods when possible and bring bug repellent. If that weren't enough, you also have Bible Street Playground, which is excellent for kids with its bocce, baseball, and basketball courts. But that's not all. You also have another one of Greenwich's great parks, Bruce Park. I'll tell you more about it in a minute. In the southern part of the neighborhood, you're gonna find Coscob Elementary, and just across the street is Coscob Library, which is excellent. Coscob offers condos, single family homes, and some waterfront real estate. The finest properties in Costco are going to sell for north of about $3.5 million, with a luxurious or premium property typically selling between $2.1 and $3.2 million. And a more affordable home will sell between $510,000 and $1.5 million. Some homes in Costco will suffer from deferred maintenance or lack of curb appeal, at least to Greenwich standards. So we always recommend using Google Street View to be sure that you're happy with the area. Next, let's head over to downtown Greenwich. This is where you're going to find the popular Greenwich Ave shopping area that has more than 100 high-end retail stores and restaurants. When you get hungry in the area, I would suggest eating here. If you wanna know more about the shopping and all that Greenwich Ave has to offer, head over to our YouTube channel and check out the Greenwich Ave shopping video that we created. If you're looking for a walkable area with an abundance of shopping and restaurants, this could be a great location for you. North of Greenwich Ave, you have the acclaimed Greenwich Library. It's the largest in town. And towards the bottom of Greenwich Ave, you have Greenwich Common, which is an excellent park to let the kids enjoy the playground or to experience live music in the summer. Around Greenwich Ave, you have plenty of top-notch amenities, the most popular of which is Bruce Park. It includes a museum with a full calendar of ever-changing events, a large playground, ponds, walking trails, a tennis court, and more. It's an excellent place for strolling, dog walking, riding your bike, running, or a picnic. There's also Roger Sherman Baldwin Park, which is south of Greenwich Ave on the water. In the warmer months, events are held here. Everything from wine and food events, music, car shows, and more. Also, if you're looking for a place to stay while you explore Greenwich, I would recommend the Della Mar, which is nearby on Steamboat Road. On another note, your dog will love Grass Island Dog Park, which is waterfront. It's to the west of Roger Sherman Baldwin Park, but keep in mind that the sewer treatment plant is next to the dog park, so I would recommend going somewhere else in the warmer months. On the east side of the neighborhood, you will find Julian Curtis Elementary, and on the west side, you will find Hamilton Elementary and Western Middle School. Downtown Greenwich offers townhomes, condos, multifamily, and single-family homes. Plus, you're gonna find some of the most beautiful waterfront on the peninsulas that are south of Bruce Park. The finest properties in the downtown area will sell for north of about 3.5 million, with a luxurious or premium property typically selling between 2 million and 3.4 million, and a more affordable home will sell between 280,000 and 1.3 million. 
be aware that some homes in downtown Greenwich will suffer from deferred maintenance or lack of curb appeal. So again, remember to use Google Street View. If you're going to be commuting to Manhattan by train, I'm gonna bet that you are considering a home near one of the four train stations or you're concerned about parking limitations. For you, I have a video with parking information, a walkable area map, and a one-click home search. Go to the link on the screen and scroll down for this resource. Next, let's head over to one of Greenwich's most architecturally beautiful neighborhoods, Bell Haven. To the southwest of the Greenwich Ave shopping area, you're going to find the neighborhood of Bell Haven. When you come here, you'll find guard stations throughout the neighborhood, and some parts will have gated access. You can walk to Greenwich Ave, Bruce Park, and the main Greenwich station from some parts of this neighborhood. If you choose to move here, consider joining the beautiful Bell Haven Club. It's an excellent place to make friends. You will find a wonderfully eclectic mix of single family homes here. The finest properties in Bell Haven will sell for north of about 15 million, with a luxurious or premium property typically selling between 6.3 million and 10 million and a more affordable home will sell between 2.4 million and 5.8 million. If you want a beautiful estate, but it's more land that you're after, I have a few other locations coming up. But first, let's finish the waterfront area. Oh, before I forget, if you're considering other towns with low taxes, high school ratings, low crime ratings, a good connection to New York City, and high-end amenities, you might want to check out our neighborhood tours for Westport, Darien, and New Canaan. All right, now we're going to head over to Byram Shore. Whether you choose to live here or not, I have no doubt that you're going to love Byram Park. This is an unassuming park that gets better when you get out of your car and explore. Walk to the higher elevations and you'll find an amazing view of the water and offshore islands. This is a great place for a picnic. You will also find an oceanfront pool open to Greenwich residents, a beach, ball fields, tennis courts, and a playground. It's not to be missed. If it's not ideal park weather or you're just feeling like a bit of a bookworm, you can head over to Byram Schubert Library. I think you'll find it to be excellent. You will love Byram Shore if you want to live in or near large waterfront estates and stunningly beautiful waterfront views. The finest properties in Byram Shore will sell for north of about 3 million with a luxurious or premium property typically selling between 1.3 and 2.5 million and a more affordable home between 520,000 and 1.2 million. Next, we're gonna head over to the neighborhoods of Byram and Pemberwick. If you're looking for an entry price point in Greenwich, these two may be a great option. You're going to find condos, multifamily and single family homes. The most premium property typically sells between 865,000 and 1.1 million with a more affordable home selling between 260,000 and 680,000. Be aware that some homes will suffer from deferred maintenance or lack of curb appeal, again, to Greenwich standards. In Byram, you will also find New Lebanon Public Elementary. Speaking of public schools, some of my clients have been looking to avoid some of them, and that's why we created the public school district maps and the ability to verify which schools a home will go to with 100% accuracy. And in other words, no more hoping that some external website is correct. Plus, you can look up public school ratings and search for homes by school district. It's only available in our buyer's guide. You can get it by going to the link on the screen. Next, let's head over to Glenville. If you're looking not necessarily for the lowest price, but for a good value in Greenwich, Glenville may be a good option for you. It offers a charming village area, which includes a grocery store, pharmacy, a park, restaurants, wine merchants, gas, banks, and Glenville Elementary School. You're going to find both condos and single family homes in Glenville. The most luxurious properties here will sell north of about 2 million, with a premium property typically selling between 955,000 and 1.5 million, and a more affordable home will sell between 450,000 and 800,000. Some clients feel that it's a bit far from the train, but all things considered, it seems like a fair trade-off if you're looking for a neighborhood that offers a all-around good value. Next, let's head over to the neighborhood of Midcountry. This is a vast neighborhood and it offers a wide variety of options. However, one feature that most clients notice is that the lots tend to be larger than the communities closer to the water, and they tend to offer more privacy. 
If you're looking for a home with a park-like feel that isn't too far from town amenities, this neighborhood may be an ideal fit for you. Mid-country is mostly made up of single-family homes, but you will find some condos. If you see yourself living close to downtown, you may want to explore the southern part of this neighborhood. The finest properties in mid-country will sell for north of about $8 million, with a luxurious or premium property typically selling between $4.5 million and $6.3 million, and a more affordable home will sell between $270,000 and $2.8 million. In the southern part of the neighborhood, you're going to find Greenwich High School. A bit to the north, you'll find Central Middle School and North Street Elementary School. One thing that Greenwich is known for is its large number of estates worthy of an architectural digest cover. While you will find them along the waterfront and scattered throughout mid-country, you will also find some of the most stunningly beautiful estates in this neighborhood, backcountry. The land here is absolutely breathtaking. Driving around the streets may leave you in awe of the sprawling lawns, the rolling hills, and the country setting. Most of the estates are set far from the road and hardly visible, so this aerial view will give you the best perspective. It's no surprise that many of the best golf courses are here too, including Tamarack, Fairview, and Sandwich. I counted 10 total in Greenwich alone. You also have many other ways to enjoy nature, including Fairchild Wildflower Sanctuary. It's a quiet oasis that's perfect for a nature walk. You feel like you can unplug here and let the stress drain away. In addition, a few hundred feet north from the Wildflower Sanctuary on Riversville Road, you will also find the Greenwich Autobahn Center. In addition to the birds, it offers trails and a lake. It's another peaceful and educational way to relax. If you like to hike, you can also head over to Babcock Preserve with its 300 acres of hiking trails. By the way, the trails here are notorious for not being well marked, so when you head over, be sure to take a picture of the trail map. Another asset many backcountry residents enjoy is the Westchester County Airport. You may not have to drive into the city to fly because this airport makes air travel a breeze. It's located just minutes over the New York line. In the center of the neighborhood, you will find Parkway Elementary School, which is public. If you're looking for a private school, you have 10 options right here in town, including Greenwich Country Day, Brunswick School, the Greenwich Academy, and several other specialty options. Many consider backcountry to be the pinnacle of Connecticut real estate. You will find single family homes and large estates. The finest properties in backcountry will sell for north of about 9.5 million with a luxurious or premium property typically selling between 4.6 and 7.9 million, and a more affordable home will sell between 860,000 and 3.2 million. If you like this area, but feel this neighborhood is a bit too far from downtown, try exploring mid country. Make the best decision for your family. Call us and hire me today. If you're seriously considering moving to Greenwich, the resources on my site will save you hundreds of hours and help you make the best decision possible. Head there and access them now.